All right, good morning. Today we're gonna to talk about the secret jungle diet that increases testosterone and all the other necessary hormones that we ignore, that we shouldn't, and performance in human athletic performance and mental performance, cognitive performance, every kind of performance that no one knows about. And you can almost not tell anyone about it because every time I share this with someone, they're like, yeah, right. You know, you're just a machine in the gym and on the farm because of steroids. I have never taken a steroid in my life and I won't take a steroid until 80, probably not even then because I'll have figured out so much more. And I, you really don't need, you can, I raised an old person, almost 80, testosterone levels to 1200 points. And they tested it like 260 or something before I started with them. And it was with this jungle diet concept. And you can do broken versions of this. And then you can even, and ha, you know, there's a lot to this. The thing I love about na na nature studies is it's never gonna get boring. No one person's ever gonna know it all. A committee of people is, no, a very, very, very small fraction of what's out there for us to take a part of. You know, there's been spiritual counsel on this planet for a long time about how we're in the age of knowledge now and now next is the age of life and the, the age of bio, right? You know, we know that we can get very far with aerodynamics and engineering and build big buildings and make rocket ships, right? You know, but... uh we haven't really explored the the organic processes to the to the to to that degree you know we don't study or apply ourselves to natural studies to that degree not even close to it you know and so and i i would venture to say that if we did start to do that we would be able to get a human performance all the way around that supersedes anything that we know today to the point where, yeah, it's 1000%. Okay, now here's another thing. Don't, did, you know, <laughs> critical people who never do anything will attach their criticism to points of oration. I'm not the best orator, fine. What I'm trying to deliver and not for any selfish, you know, I could keep this to myself and continue to outperform everyone around me and just not tell them what I'm doing. There's so many people like that, right? There's so many people like that, but because I want to be an uncommon person, because this human performance thing is a complete package deal, you know, what I want to do is be a spiritually advanced individual in that I want to help all of humanity and that I'm here to serve humanity and that I am my brother's keeper and my nature brother's keeper, right? And um, actually start really pedaling hard to see humanity as a whole in a com completely unselfish manner um, and delivering these total answers to human society, to human ecosystem to the ecosystem on this planet not the human ecosystem but the ecosystem that does support the highest intelligent walking being on the planet <clears throat> this system will support spiritual alignment highest performance you know i've got videos and i'll put the link below where i you know people in when i first got into this i was doing this highly diverse diet, studying, encompassing all these plants, incorporating all these plants, uh, up to like a hundred spe different species. And just on that alone, I was swinging the machete, breaking tons of shovels. I got the nickname, the Shovel Punisher. <laughs> now I'm the Demon Slayer, crazy stuff. But anyway, um, you know, I'm a highly active, highly energetic individual was always smashing it in the gym higher than everybody pound for pound by right you know of course a giant is going to do a lot more than me but for pound for, for some of my size you know and that's what I want to be I want to be the, the boxing model right as fast as I can be for as light as I can be as strong as I can be for as light as I can be you know what I'm saying so you want to have this optimal performance not just 
super heavy lifting dude who can't move and his sport is standing on a stage in a bikini. That's not what I'm after at all. I'm after legitimate athletic and mental and spiritual performance. And I was pushed into this by a void. You know, I make this video in Argentina where the grocery store spectrum of foods, the availability of excellent nutrition, it's almost non-existent. You know, the carnivore diet is definitely the diet for Argentina because cowboys are tough guys and they pushed cow culture th through this social socialist slaughterhouse that happened to their agriculture, you know, and, and just look at their major exports, soy, corn, rice, right? Um, we're not talking um, extremely creative here. We're talking extremely commercial, extremely low quality, high production. And, uh, you know, the, if you eat the milk and the cheese and the vegetables in this country, you will be fucked. You won't perform greatly. You won't think greatly. You will be perfect, perfect slave material to be wrangled up, rounded up, <laughs> you know? And so there's a, there's a huge need for diverse agriculture here. I'm kind of getting off topic. So here we go. Uh, you know, and when I see this opposite of excellent performance, I'm motivated to be like, no, and then I make this video, right? About the secret jungle diet that increases performance and doctors don't want you to know about. Because if we ate highly diverse, correctly cultivated, which is the wild is the best, right? But it's not the best actually. We can enhance the wild process to have even better with this human to nature relationship that means something, not just this you know, chemical de machine dependent pollution, earth destroying cancer patches everywhere, agriculture that we feed our children with. Crazy, people call me crazy with this message, but a message like mine in a crazy environment that everybody's been uh, conforming, conform to, forced to conform to, because you don't know anything about nature. You don't know anything about cultivation. The number one physical trainer in the world has no idea what nutrition comes from, how it's cultivated, doesn't have any idea who Rudolf Steiner is, what biodynamic farming is, who Bill Mollison is, who the greats are in this industry, in this field of actual optimal nutrition. They don't, they don't. So that's the societal culture that we live in. And it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. The bigger the city, you know, there's size limits to this. Once again, oration, not my best skill. I'm getting sidetracked once, once more. Highly diverse, correctly cultivated through a loving cultivator or through a study of nature where you can go out and get a whole bunch of wild foods. All you need to know is what Parcelius told us back in the 1400s that everything is both a remedy and a toxin. It's the dose that decides. So go slow, be careful, little tiny increment, little tiny increment, little tiny increment. And likely in a nutritional diversity diet, toxic effect. Here's how you really know a plant. Let me tell you this too. If you wanna know a plant fast for 48 hours, get all your system pumping, because when you fast, your body clicks in. We're negating a whole bunch of natural process by eating five times a day and bodybuilder, da, 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 da. right? No, you fast for 48 hours, you'll get into better shape. Your hormonal palate will recalibrate. Cancers in your body will get combated. Um, it's just, it's nothing but good. Do, do a good 48 to 72 hour fast. When you break it, what you wanna do is break it with a plant. Take a little bit of this plant that you've been experiencing with. Take a little more, take a little more, take a little more until you really feel the effects that this plant is getting on, giving you. And you remember the dose, the cumulative dose of all this plant you've eaten in, in this couple of hours, whatever, uh, fasted to where it, you've got your minimum effective dose where it starts to become a toxin. So you're gonna add just under that amount into your diet plant. 
I mean, it does, it gets complicated. And someone who's been studying it for 13 years can speed you up or you can just go on your own learning journey and figure it all out yourself. They're both beautiful, you know? Lots of time the modern man just doesn't really have time to go out and do all that study on himself. But if you do, just remember who put you on the journey, all right? Because that's important as well. Everything that happens in life is important. And every fork of the road you come up to is important. It's important to hand it, handle it honestly. It's important to be headed in the right direction and figuring things out, right? And most important, well, it could be, could be, could be most important for a James Bond flash cat who can do it all to to learn from the greats. If you just go climb, you know, well, I say climb onto the shoulders of the greats, but you know, I've never seen as far as the standing on the shoulders of the greats, of the previous knowledge, of the lessons that have already learned. You know, so I'm a big inhaler of the greats, man. I'm looking for, oh, that guy pulled off that, 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 and that result. What's up with him? Give me the biography, give me the autobiography. You know, boom, 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 boom. Okay, now I get all the building blocks plus the final product right in one thing without having to relive this guy's whole journey. So be able to listen to people is gonna make your life more optimal. Be able to discern between who's great and who's just talking like they're great, all right? And diverse diet, having all the hormones that you're supposed to is gonna help you do that, you know? People aren't producing what they're supposed to and they're going back into the medical care system left and right because you're in a hacked diet, narrow spectrum, poorly produced foods, um, you know, profit hungry cultivators. And so moving to this secret jungle diet, the doctors that you won't have to go to anymore, don't want you to know about is your, is the, is the number one move for athletes, for anyone who serves other people too, do you serve other people at your best self? There's so many people who want to couch critic and tell you what to do and tell you where to go, but look at how they live their life. Are they really in the position to be telling you anything? I watched a gym owner take advice from a super fat person <laughs> about his cold. While I'm sitting in the car, this freaking plant genius dude that people know about, you know? But this is the thing, they wanna really call a person like that crazy or a liar because they can't buckle down and live their life true themselves. They're the liar. They're lying to themselves. Don't be one of these. And my diverse, optimal performance adventure, and don't get me, you know, Di uh, nutritional diversity, that's, that's fine. But you're looking at someone, that's excellent. That's the key to everything. If we demanded that produce for our diets, then they would, you'd have to have that agriculture. Monoculture agriculture is killing our pollination system. It's killing our soul, soil, sad gurus told, everyone's told you. All right, but where's the solution? I'm bringing you the solution, but you're going to call me a liar because you're a liar. Because you can't live your life right and you can't believe in the truth. So get your life right. Diverse diet's going to help you. Adverse diversity, diverse adversity, excuse me, diverse adversity, going out, getting life experience, getting into the jungle, going and seeing the jungle, going and see out to nature, just anywhere. Becoming spiritually good, cutting toxic people out of your life, cutting toxic substances out of your life. This is where human optimal performance is gonna come from. This is where planetary optimal performance is gonna to come, to, come from. And when we all have a better relationship with nature and we're buying our food from the farmer instead of the grocery store direct, and we're propelling him to do a better job too and that not only do we save the planet but we build a relationship with nature ourselves and that will you know we could really be living in an avatar paradise that we can't even never dream of right now if we just simply adopted this secret 
jungle diet that the doctors don't want you to know about. <clears throat> and we've got classes. We're going to have classes for this online. We got a coaching program online to just really take people out of the old paradigm and into the new. And, you know, so we're really excited about this. I've been doing this stuff. I've been working on this for 13 years. I'm published in the United Nations Food and Agricultural Journals, uh, Poverty Meets Climate Change Nexus. And, you know, I'm published in books. I'm published in a few other nature journals, a few other medical journals. I'm referenced. My stuff is cited. You know, I'm not just talking crap to you right now. You know, I'm ahead of the game. And this is the big difference between me and everyone else. You're studying in a classroom nutrition. You're, stu you're reading labels off of products, nutritionists. Come down, get dirty with me. Then you can call yourself a nutritionist. Then you can call yourself a naturalist. Then you can call yourself a trainer, a performance specialist. Then, okay? So take it from the real, the real. And, you know, I don't care about popularity. I'm so unpopular. If this information has found you, you can pretty much chalk it that it's been cosmically guided to you. I certainly hope from the bottom of my heart that everyone just gets better and becomes them, their best self. And again, it's your word. You got to be an honest person yourself to get the real information. Remember that stuff, guys. You got to be precisely honest. You know, I used to be, I've always been the most honest guy. But I used, to use, I used to even do stuff like if I meet punks and I don't respect them and they're talking to me, I would just lie to them to smoke screen them. But then they group together and they use those lies against you to say that you're dishonest. So I have learned even being the most, you know, you can ask anyone I grew up with, this dude is the most solid, honest guy. But even then, even if you're someone with that to say, you can still refine things, you know? I've got this great, excellent diet, but it doesn't stop me. I'm still incorporating, I'm still researching, I'm still reading, you know what I mean? The whole, you know, the destination is the journey. It's that you have to enjoy the process. You have to love the process. Don't be fixated on this destination. Be fixated on the process. The destination will actually become you know, you'll, you'll surpass your goals being in love with the process. So anyway, I just want to give a quick 20 minute video. I haven't been on this channel for a while. I've tried to do some videos before. Oration is a skill on its own, apart from diet, training and, and optimization, which I am working on. So thank you for bearing with me. If you're here at the end of this video where I will drop you another gem, for sticking with me, okay? And that is, testosterone doesn't work by itself. You are going to create a myriad of problems by taking a foreign testosterone, bypassing the liver cleaning process, and just throwing that straight in your veins. Yes, you get these mutant-like growths, and and half the time, you know, but you're, you're, number one, you're taking an easy button, that's not the button God wants you to take. Number two, you are, you are not getting the full spectrum. Your endocrine system doesn't work that way. You eat food, you process that food, you train, and based off the food you eat and the output that you, um, and the practice, the, the cultural practice that you engage in, the output, right? That is what dictates a hormonal palette of chemical production, not just testosterone by itself. Okay, so when you take things out of balance like that, you know, they're all major nutritional sciences like this. It's this direction of dissection. They've got us totally flipped. No, we need to be in the direction of combination. Look at the way nature works together. If you just eat one food, if you eat one extraction of one vitamin from one food forever, what was gonna happen to you? But if you eat the nutritional diversity I'm telling you about, what's gonna happen to you, right? You can see what's gonna happen to you. And yeah, everybody thinks I'm on steroids. I've never taken a steroid. I'm gonna take a hair strand test soon 
for a few different little channels and things because yeah <laughs> some of the yeah yeah i've never done steroids i'll outperform steroids dudes on occasion definitely my size dudes um anyway i love you guys this is uh my 20 minute little window for my highly productive day time management right especially when you come straight from the dirt it's super important to get from zero to 60 and a fraction of the time that you spoiled kids do it. Love you guys. Stay tough.